Hello my beautiful people, Teddy Capper once again, and we are getting back into friend Bo. Now, I'm pretty sure this is part 7. Yes, part 7. Um, we are in the library from what I last remember. It's been like about a couple weeks since I played, I think. So, now what we're trying to do is get this book that we keep talking about. Alright, so we got it open. I did it. Oh wow, I'm so great. I have to turn the lever now. Alright, so turn this. Nothing. I guess we gotta keep turning until something pops up. Damn you. Okay. Alright, so that must be the wizard's book. I can't reach it, how typical. Alright, so the only thing I know that we could use is the ladder, but because people are in here. Winter time? Nope. Ah, there we go. Alright. Okay, so use this. Get the book. Yeah, we got that book! We that thing is fucking creepy. <laughs> Alright, uh <laughs> Alright, so examine this. Oh, that's cool. Whoa. Conjoint twins. Babies. Wow. Alright, so, uh, let's get the F out of here, since we got that. Okay. Go back to the wizard. I almost forgot where to click. <laughs> That's where I haven't played this game in like a little while, so I forgot <laughs> some things. Alright, so let's. <coughs> Shit. Excuse me. Alright, so let's give him his book so that we could get the rest of our stuff. Sir, here's your book. It was inside the magical box. I saw the doll. Hee <laughs> hee, the it word lock. That sounds like fun. Thank you for the book. This certainly makes me remember many things. Many, many things. I'm sorry about the accents. I don't remember what voices I put to them. So, forgive me. And now what? There are two things left on the star. Yes, the fish in the water. I'm just gonna give him that voice. <laughs> fish, fish, swimming free. Go back, my little friend. Go back home. What the fuck? Oh, shit. <laughs> wow, sir, you woke up the fish. Yes, because I remembered how to do it. Isn't it beautiful? That's magical, sir. Can you do that with other beings, like humans? Of course, but only if the circumstances are positive. But these circumstances are not often positive. I see, sir. Hmm. So we need to find the missing stones, yes? The fish told me that my shoes are on the feet of the amazing dancer. You know where this dancer could be? I have no idea. The only place that I could think of is that bar. Oh, there we go. Okay. I was like, where the fuck's the bar? And it was because it's not there during certain times of year. Uh... Oh. 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 Interesting. Okay. Come on, kitty. Go inside and remember. I need a ticket to get in, too. So, maybe you could take someone else's? 
but I don't want to steal. Well, just borrow it, kitty. We can give it back later, all right? Mm, all right. Whoa. This is cool. Hello, lady. Can I borrow your ticket, please? My ticket disappeared. I'm using it as a hip coaster. Ah, oh, this lemonade is just very good. Yeah, it's not like you drunk as shit. But why? You have a table to put the glass on. Eh, I don't like the sound of the hip <laughs> glass on the table. I see. And you like this lemonade very much, right? Yes, hip. Uh, I drink it because it's hip. Refreshing. You mean is drunkenly refreshing. Now I feel excuse me, I want to listen to the hip music. Oh of course. Goodbye. Alright, so we need to distract this chick. That's the dancer. A moth. I used to eat those, but I won't this time. Ladybug is the tiniest I've seen around besides the flies. Oh, she's asleep. Yes! Alright, great, I got the ticket. Wow. What a dancer. <laughs> now let's go back out, friend. I have the ticket! I have it! You are an incredible kitty, I love you so much. Now we can go inside. Yes, you can. Alright, let's talk to this dude. Use that tick it with the guard. Look, sir, it seemed oh that a ticket found a way to get into my hands. What? Let me see it. Mmm, this can't be right. It just can't. I already let someone in with that ticket. You bring many mysteries, little lady. Huh, but how can you know it was someone else's ticket? The symbols are correct, but look at the handwriting. This belongs to someone much older than you. I can see it. Alright then, is there any chance I could get inside? I mean, it's possible. The only thing that I could think of is to combine that and that. Ticket friend. Plus kitty can go in. <laughs> Party. Oh man, I forget that she's just like a little kid. Look, sir, I think this is my own ticket. Hmm, oh, I see. But you simply drew it yourself. Yes, I thought it was the right thing to do. I wasn't invited, so I invited myself. Very clever, little lady. Well, I guess I can let you in enjoy the show. Yes! Fucking finally! At least he likes creativity. Thank God. Alright, so... Uh, I never saw such a huge moth. Oh, yay. Perfect. Alright, so I had to, like, be quick with changing the season. There we go. Alright. So Jesus. Alright. So you pretty much have to, uh, get this guy to legitimately fall on his ass. And, uh, you know, steal his shoes. Alright, so let's go back up here. Put this into winter time. And let's go back to the wizard. Give him his shoes. And I think we have one more thing to get. Sir, sir, I have the shoes. They are very pretty. Look. Whoa, you did it. You really have an extraordinary machine inside your head. Thank you, sir. Now let's do the last one so I can go home. The last one, air. Hmm, I recognize this feather. It belongs to Belantris. Yes, I saw him very injured. Hmm, he'll be fine. He has the pink water. That can fix everything. Yes, that's true. Well, what do we do with the feather? Hee <laughs> hee. Go visit the old Malacus mechanical doll. That thing that I kept stumbling upon. My wand will be there. I, I have to finish my rabbit science. 
I think I have the answer. Oh, okay, so I'll bring you your wand back. Alright, so pretty much that place where A, I got scared by, I think, the Valakis? That were up this way. Yeah, this thing. Ah, okay. Now there's finally something in there. Alright, let's see how this works. Okay, maybe not. This might take a while. Grab that. And beautiful! We got the damn wand. I think that was like the fastest thing I've done. Because <laughs> everything else was like ridiculously long as shit. And I had to keep editing out so much stuff. Because it was just repetitive and we had to keep walking around like crazy. I have to use the wand with with the great wizard because why not here's your wand sir wizard oh magnificent splendid you did it really but where are the stone oh, where i was about to say where are the shoes <laughs> but where are the stones can i borrow them i can't lend you the stones the stones are very very special what i can do is place the stones on the locks of the door but you you are the only one who can turn the key actually open the door. Oh, I see. The king told me he would show me where the door is. Ah, then we should go and talk to him. Don't you think? Hmm. Wait, I suspect... I suspect... Uh, wait, I suspect you can't return home looking like a tree. Oh, I almost forgot. Yes, you're right. Can you bring my human body back? Yes, I can. This is exciting. I haven't done this in hundreds of years. Let's make a human, yes. Bring me your clothing. I need to smell it. Here, sir, my clothing. Oh, yeah, because I picked it up earlier, and I was like, Psh, I'm going to need this later. Let me just pick this up now. All right, so, mmm, let me smell this. Sniff. This can work. We will make a human. Oh, this looks so exciting. Yes. Good. Now go to the center of the Star of a Thirst Star. Finally. And think about your human body, your hand, your leg, and the other leg, and your arm, both of them. Now concentrate. Randomly selected elements, find your path to your true essence. Become friend the human now! Whoa. It's fucking crazy. Oh! Jesus. That's horrifying. Huh. Are you alright? Uh. <laughs> what happened? Is it done? <laughs> Damn. Ooh, my god, that was horrifying. Oh, wow. Thank you so much, sir. You really are a great wizard. Well, that's my name, Great Wizard, because of the greatness. Hmm, I think we have to go to the king now so he can show me the door. Yes, I, I'll i be right there. I have to finish something. I'll be there. Go now. I'm guessing you have to finish up your rabbit science. <laughs> oh, man. This is great. I'm so happy right now. We're finally fucking human again, damn it! Alright, well, thankfully... There's been nothing here to scare even more the shitouts with me. Is the king here? I was wrong. <laughs> Everything is fine. Is that supposed to be Fran? It feels like heaven. Whoa. Why does this sound like exactly what Fran had been saying when the game started? What are you? Leave Mr. Midnight alone. Is your head playing with you again? Can't see yourself in the mirror? I'm not you. I'm not. Let Mr. Midnight go now. We killed the traitors. Because that's what he is, Fran. Don't you see? My kitty is not a traitor. He promised me 
to be by my side. He promised. As your mommy and daddy did? Who promised to take good care of you? Wake up, friend. You're surrounded by traitors. Leave me alone. Leave my friend alone. I'm the only one you have, Fran. I'm the one who's always by your side. It's weird how those, like, eyeballs are actually blinking. Now let's get rid of this traitor, eh? What do you say? Let's be happy. Let's be so very, very happy together. Oh! Oh my- oh, Jesus. Go away! Go away! It wasn't me! Oh my god. Friend, what's wrong? Why are you crying? I I'm crazy, sir. I'm totally crazy. The doctors were right. But, you're not crazy. I'm very sorry that you feel that way. You should be happy now. You found the stones and you became human again. That is very great indeed. My dear, let me wipe those tears. I don't want to hurt you, my dear, and I feel like I'm about to do it at any moment. You won't. I know that. Because you love me. Yes, Kitty. I love you. Very much. This is so sad, man. Friend, remember what I told you. If you love, you are alive. And that is the only thing that matters. You will always find the power to fight those monsters in you. Now, let's go and open the gate so you can go home. Yes. Yes, let's do this. Damn, man. It's crazy how she's so young and going through so much crap. It's so crazy. Here we are. Yes, but where's the door? All right, I have to make it visible. But, are you sure you want to go back? I'm sure, sir. Alright, here we go. The human must leave. Open the secret door into her reality. Let the human return home. Oh. Wow, we are going home, kitty. And there's the great wizard. Ho ho ho! Zier the king, good day to you. I have no idea what that was. I brought the stones, so this lovely creature can go home. Thank you, sir. I'm very nervous. It will be strange to be far away from you all. Then don't leave. I can make you a place to stay, a very magical place. Wizard, she has to leave. I received a message from one of the Balakas, and she's not ready. Oh, I see. What are you talking about? Ready for what? Come on, wizard, place the stones. We have no time to lose. But, ready for what? You know what the Balakis told you about facing the truth? Ah, uh, yes, I think I remember. Well, should I? Yes, go ahead, wizard sir. Magic stones create the lock that only the human can break. Oh. Well, now it's time for Fran to be the key. You are the only one who can open this now. Oh, wow. All right, let's see. Okay, so we're pretty much making uh, a pentagram with those. And now we open the door. I don't want to leave. <laughs> I smell victory again. You did it, Fran. You can go home now. I'm so excited. And I just can't hide it. I did not just do that. Oh, I wish I could leave you something so you can remember me. We won't forget you. Wrong voice. We won't forget you. You are a very special creature. Oh, I almost forgot. Palantras gave me this for you. A box. With ears and an eye. Oh, thank you. Tell Palantras I wish I could help him with his wounds. I gave my aid patches to a girl in the hospital, but anyway. I'll tell him. And don't worry, Palantras is better now. Oh, oh, before you go, you must now. Before you return to your reality, you'll go through the secret woods. The woods are kind of invisible passage between our realities. 
and you may encounter terrible creatures if you that want to eat you. Apparently I can't freaking read. But just run. They are quite slow. And you are telling me this now, huh? That sounds very fucking scary. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Hee <laughs> hee, I hope so. Well, Mr. Midnight, say goodbye. Let's go now. Goodbye, gentlemen. I had a great time. I... I like you very much. Goodbye. This is so sad. I wanted her to stay, man. Why can't she stay? Fuck. Come on, girl. You was in ten. Fuck! Ah! Oh, I thought she was gonna fucking die. How much more of this bullshit do we need to go through? Ah! Oh, God. Those edges, man. Oh, yes! We made it! Holy shit. Oh my god, I thought she was gonna die. Chapter 4, Part 1, My Imaginary Friend. Who could that be? <laughs> oh. No. Okay, anyways. Oh, we're on the other side. Oh my goodness, the door opened. Wow, interesting. Come on, Mr. Midnight, let's find out where we are. I think we're on the other side of where that bridge was before. Oh, Fran, I hope we can find home soon. I'm starving. Mr. Minette, look, I think we're at the other side of the bridge. Yeah. Do you remember the one we tried to cross before we fell into Etherstow? Yes, I remember. Great, let's keep on going, Kitty. We have to be careful now. Those are pills? But where are they going? home. I like that there's just like one weird sign where it says home. Like that's not fucking creepy. Pills don't move. Ah! <laughs> you want me to show? You want? Uh, la, la, la. I have a bad feeling about this. See? God damn it! <laughs> oh no, I shouldn't have touched the pills! Bad friend! Bad, bad! Let's cut our fucking way out of here. You ain't gonna keep me the fuck in here, bitch! Alright, so now we are free! The fuck? Friend, you are already here. Well, I wasn't expecting you until. 2.35. And as I see it, you are not trapped anymore. Interesting. Anyway, let me introduce myself. I am Itward, your faithful friend. Itward? Do I know you from somewhere? You seem familiar. Yes, I am the creature of the night. We've been playing together. I helped you to get Mr. Midnight back, you see? Really? Huh. I think I managed quite well to find my kitty on my own. Hey, aren't you the one that made the sisters mad? No, it wasn't me making the sisters mad. They believed it was me. You see, because that's... Wow. <laughs> you see, but that's because they never looked into themselves. What do you mean by they never looked into themselves? They blamed me instead of facing the fact that their parents never loved them. But let's stop talking about the sisters, shall we? Why? Don't you recognize me, dear friend? The long man with the top hat. I always came by at night and told you stories when you were just a little baby. I came to you after you imagined me. But I'm not imaginary, you see. I'm part of your reality. Did I imagine you? You look quite familiar, yes. I can't deny that. I exist because you exist. The truth is that. You were able to imagine me because I already existed. Anyway, we do not have time to talk about this right now. 
Actually, I'm here to take you home. Follow me. <laughs> I like how the options are take me home, question mark, or I can't trust you. Take me home, I can't let you do that. I don't know you. <laughs> I won't hurt you. I'm not made of darkness. I'm your friend. Mm. Alright, you seem nice. I'll go with you, but I won't trust you yet. That's fine. Come on now. I have something to show you. That dude is tall AF. What is that? Behold, the Eatward flying machine. What do you think? I love it! It has many buttons to push. Yes, with this gorgeous piece of machinery, I'll take you home. We'll fly as soon as I fix the details. Besides, it's not 235 yet. That sounds great, but what is it about 235, sir? I don't understand. It's when time becomes sour and that gives us a chance to enter the ultra reality. Inside the ultra reality, we can travel wherever we want to go. Right now, we are standing on the endless limits of the second reality. But you are part of the third. Do you understand? Yes, I do understand. It sounds fucking insane. But, sir, should I just wait until you are done fixing the machine? Wait, of course not. You can help by getting water and fire batteries, alright? Alright, it's better to do something than nothing at all, I guess. Great. Here is my amazing handmade bucket for the water. I made it myself. And the fire berries. You realize which berries to pick because of the fire. Alright, sir, but can I just ask, why do you need the berries in the water? Nah. Well, the berries are incredibly great fuel. They last many, many hours. And the water is to get rid of the dirt. The Kamalas. Oh, Kamalas? I see. I hope they don't come around the flying machine. We never know. But we do know that we don't... That they don't like water. Yes? Oh, darling, I almost forgot. Your medicine. You need it. Some things are still invisible to your eyes, you see? Here. Invisible to my eyes, hmm? I see. Well, thank you. I was trying to catch the pills earlier, but the trap caught me first. Oh, yes, about that. I'm sorry. I needed to get your attention somehow. It's okay, sir. I defeated the trap, <laughs> like, in a second. Oh, uh, I love this kid. Uh, anyway, I'll get the fireberries in the water. I'll be right back. Great, I'll be preparing the machine. Damn. Alright, so we are amazingly into chapter... F Is he beating the machine? <laughs> He's literally beating the machine. Great. Alright, so... I'm going to leave this here. We have definitely gotten a lot farther than I expected to. Um, I think the only thing left is chapter 5. So we're getting close to being done. But of course, do not forget to suggest me other games to play. I will hopefully try to continue and finish up Franbo very soon. Hopefully within like another two or three videos. I'm not sure yet. So, of course, I will see you guys on the next one.